the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Alright, what's going on y'all? We are back. So, safety patrol just got done leaving over there. I'm gonna hop out when it's safe to do so. I'll give you guys the breakdown of what just happened. So, I was traveling in the middle lane. There was a lot. Traffic was almost at a standstill, but it was, it was kind of running slow. And, uh, we got the marks that I just tried wiping off. You got that mark right there, that one down there, that one at the bottom. I was able to clean off that one and this one for the most part, but some of them went deeper than the paint. Especially this one. And this one. Basically, I just got done setting up my emergency triangles, checked on them, make sure they were good. They were good. Uh, basically, her front tire fell off the car and then it rolled into my truck on the middle lane. So I'm not gonna walk into the lane of travel and see it. And there's a couple of uh, lug nuts in the road. Uh, the police has already been notified. So, uh, but yeah, she is missing the lug nut of uh, studs. up by my last emergency triangle and then there was one more a little bit further up but in the middle lane so we're waiting on state police now uh, and uh, roadside assistance wanted to help her out and get the tire back on but um, she doesn't have any lug nuts so and I was just like, mm. I kind of made the face and the guy was like, yeah, you could do it with four studs. I was like, yeah, isn't that how she got in this, in this predicament with four studs? So the reason why it's kind of leaky like this, cause I thought it was just rubber and I was hoping I could just wipe it off with like a Clorox wipe and some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol. But as you can see there, it goes deeper than the paint. And uh, as you guys know, this is a Penske, so I'm not, I'm not covering the bill on that one. Uh, yeah, this one, it might be able to rub off, but that's not for me to say. That is not for me to say. So I'll let the insurance companies get involved with it. This one, I was able to rub off, so it's just some brown streaks, but that one, that one right there, that one down there, and this one right there. Uh, I'm, I didn't even try it because once I saw it went deeper than the paint, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to keep wiping away the evidence. I'm all set. I'm going to just leave it like that. So right now we'll just wait for state police to get back to, to get on scene and I'm going to charge up the GoPro. So I'll see you guys when they get here. All right. So in the rear view mirror, I could see the roadside assistance truck pulling back up to the uh to the people i'm gonna just stay in the truck mind my business because they don't got nothing to do with me
How you doing? Real. Pretty good. What happened? So she was driving in the right lane. I'm in the middle lane. And her tire just came off the vehicle, rolled, and side swiped the, the side skirt of my rental. Okay, where is the damage? Right here. So this right here. Yeah. I wouldn't have cared if it didn't cut into the paint. Because, you know, if it was just rubber, I could rub it off. But since it's a, uh, a rental, I have to report it, you know? Okay. Because if not, I'll get dinged for it. And something as stupid as this could cost me like $2,000. So. All right, well, I need your license, registration, and insurance. Okay. Uh, you can just hop up in your truck and stay in the truck. All right, no problem. You normally have a GoPro on your head when you're walking around? or? Um, I do it. So not only do I have a YouTube channel, but I like to document. Just vlog whatever I do on a day-to-day -day basis kind so of thing. Did you get it on video? No, 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 no. Nope. Okay. Nope. All right, yeah, so hop up your truck for me. Yep. And then just hop, give me all that information. All right, cool. Hot out here today, huh? So you were in the left lane then, right? No, I was in the I was in the middle lane. So you were in the center lane? Yep. And was she behind you or in front of you? So she was I would say a little bit in front of me, but the tire started rolling and and then but because I saw her car collapse, and when I noticed that she started pulling off and I saw the sparks, I was like, holy crap, where the hell did that tire just go? Because, you know, you know, our line of sight is freaking limited. So she, so. Was, she was in the same lane as you? No, no, no. I was in the middle lane. Yep, so and three lanes right here. She was driving in the right lane. I'm in the middle lane. So you were in the left lane then, right? No, I was in the, I was in the middle lane. You were in the center lane? But Correct. here's the other thing, like, too. He, like, he, you know he when you're what on... He wants to say, Oops! <laughs> You asking me a question, right? Yeah, man. I'm sorry. trying to answer it, dude. Sorry, sorry bro. I, sorry, man. I, it's all good, but we made a mistake together, right? I, right? Well, yeah, I guess okay. so. Okay, all right, listening. cool. Because I was answering a question, you interrupted me. So we made a mistake together, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All really right, sorry. Okay, man. cool. Yep. So you were in the middle lane. Which yep. lane was she in? So she was in the right lane. Okay. So she's coming up, and... She's coming up and then whatever I just said just happened, tire started rolling and then the tire scraped the side of my truck, not once, but twice. Yeah. Because I couldn't see where the tire went and then it ended up on the other side of the highway. Okay, how did and, the tire get over here? Uh, your, is it Geico or State Farm oh, okay, the, roadside the assistance? And then he wanted to put the tire back on. Yeah. I was like, oh man. And they're trying to get someone here to put the tire back on and drive the car out of here. And I told them no good. Yeah, well, they got lug nuts spread across the highway. So yeah. I was like, Jesus. And they're coming from Waterbury and they ain't making it here in the next 20 minutes. So. Oh man, yeah. Uh, uh, do you need the rental agreement too or no? Um, just license, registration, insurance. Okay. Sounds good. How's your day going? Uh, very hectic. Yeah, I know. I saw you guys blowing by. Uh, that was me before. No, 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 no. There was another unit. Well, yeah, it might have been another you. accident about one exit back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so we're uh, very busy. So this, is, I'm gonna give you both only because the last time this was ran, uh, the uh, the the gentleman, the police officer, asked me for both okay. because he said sometimes they don't. Uh, that's the registration. Animal inspection. I gotta check my clipboard to see if I got the insurance on it. So why is there two? Uh the the validity dates. Okay. Yeah. The insurance card might be on my phone. You have your license on you? Yeah, yep. Am I gonna be YouTube famous now? Um, I don't know about famous, but I, I, you know, they. Let me roll this up so I can hear you better. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about famous, but I think that smaller channel. Yeah, I mean, I'm at 55,000 subs. Hey, that's, yeah. that's not bad. Yeah. It's more than I got. I got nothing. Well, I mean, 
believe it or not, I I actually aspired to be a state trooper years ago. Uh -huh. And when I did a ride along with you guys, it was one of the badassest things I've ever done in my whole life. It was down in Troop G. Okay, so you're out on. Well, I'm I'm originally from Bridgeport. Yep. And um, yeah, it was just crazy. Yeah, no, dude. they're hectic out there. Yeah. Um, let me see, Paul. Would you mind if you give me a second? I'll pull this up for you. Yeah, just as soon as you get it, because I can't put anything in until I get that. Gotcha, no problem. Mm -hmm. Downloading file. Did you want to take a picture of it, yeah, or? I'm gonna take a photo. Yeah. Um, in the future, I'd recommend having a hard copy. Yeah, uh, you know. I only have this little rinky dinky power inverter to print it. Yeah, so just like future. Yeah. Because at that point, I could take your phone because this is technically your identification. Yep. And if I drop my phone, you yep. drop your phone. Yep. I got you. It's on you because. You don't have a hard copy. Yeah, I, I'll get that as Listen, soon as so I, That's why I take a photo of it, so I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, like I got you, man. I appreciate All right, so it. Just stay in the truck and I'll get you guys out of here. No quickly. problem. I appreciate it. No problem. All right, so he's going to go run my documents. And yes, I do got to get a hard copy. Thought I had one in here, but apparently I don't. I think that was the annual inspector. Sorry about the wait. It's all good. So, yep. at the very top, you got your case number. You're going to have your information, her information, and then down here, instructions on how to take a copy of the report. It'll be available in 10 to 15 days. 10 to 15 days, got yep. it. All right, well, will you guys uh, stand by while I go get my emergency triangles? Yep. You guys are the best, man. All right, stay safe. Yes, sir. Um, we'll help you merge back in. I know traffic's a little hectic. Yeah, they didn't even want to move over for you guys. They never do. Yeah, that's, that's why we get hit all the time. Yeah, I, you know what's so crazy? I was. I was uh, I was down for roadside one day, and the guy had a mean scar. I was like, "What the hell happened to you?" And he goes, "Believe it or not, I had a car sideswipe me, and like almost like took his whole shoulder off." I was like, "Yo, that's nuts, freaking nuts! You can't even make it up." Yep. All right. Cool. Let me grab my All right. So try and stay on this side of the highway. Yep. Where you grab your triangles. Yep. Right. Yep. About to go grab these triangles and get this road on the show. So there's a couple lug nuts here on the highway and my presumption is that that's from the car there's one there there's one there and the tire ended up rolling all the way over there and then uh roadside assistance came out and uh roadside assistance came out and they went to the other side of the highway and retrieved her tire these 
emergency triangles are a pain in the neck. I tell you. Try to grab these. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go around the truck. This is slipping on my hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collapse this one before I go to the other side because I don't wanna I don't wanna be out in traffic fidgeting with it. I could get it to balance. I believe it goes like this. have a hard time putting these things back so if it doesn't fit that's all right i'm gonna just close the door and be on my way see i always have an issue with these it's so stupid that's all right i'm gonna just close it up Go let them know I'm gonna be ready to rock and roll here. Ready to go. Hey man, what's your name and badge number? Your name and badge number, I'll give you a shout out on the channel. Uh, don't worry about it. All right, well, I still need it for the record. It's on the report. All right, you're the man, man. All right. Appreciate you. All right, no problem. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna try to merge back in with the help of state police. And now, the biggest problem that I'm going to have is that finally a rest area. Finding a rest area that I can go to. to Portland, Maine. And uh, yeah, 
the truck was reading 90 degrees. All right, that's gonna wrap up this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Be good, be safe. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.